and today we will learn about data interpretation 1. Now first of all let's see what exactly we mean by data interpretation. Data plays a very important role in day-to-day -day life. Now if this data is very very large then it can be represented in a very well precise form in a number of ways like we have bar graphs, circle charts, line plots etc. Now once this data is represented in precise form the user of that data has to understand it properly. The process of interpreting the data from its precise form is just called as the data interpretation. So now let's talk about data interpretation and let's solve few of those questions. Now let's see what exactly are the different ways of representing a data. The very first one is the data tables. Here the data is represented in a form of tables. Then we have pie charts which we also call as the circle graphs or circle charts. After this we have two variable graphs. Then we have bar charts. Bar charts can be horizontal bar chart or the vertical bar charts. Then after this we have the combination of two or more charts. Now the very first one is the data table. Over here the entire data is represented in a form of a table. Here the data can be represented either in a single table or the combination of tables. To understand this better let's take an example. For example this shows the table that is the population of different cities in thousands in different year. For example the population of Paris in various years is given, population of Delhi, population of Rome, London and Lahore in different years are known to you. For example, population of Delhi in 2003 is 4,800,000. Then population in London in 2004 is 2,325,000. So this is how we are going to study the table. Now from the given table we can find out the following things and the very first one is the population of any particular city with respect to that of any other city for a given year. Like let's say we have to find out the population of Paris is what percent more than the population of London in year 2008. We know that population of Paris in 2008 is simply 8,000 while the population of London in 2008 is 6,000. Now so as to find the population of Paris is what more than the population of London we will use this formula that is the increase in population which is simply 8,000 minus 6,000 over the population of London that's 6,000 times with 100. We times this by 100 because we have to find out our answer in percentage. So this gives us simply 2,000 over 6,000 times with 100 which in solving gives us simply 33.33 percent. Hence our answer will be simply equals to third that is 33.33 percent. So we can say that the population of Paris is 33.33 percent more than the population of London in 2008. Now using the data table we can also find out the percentage change in the population of any city from one year to the another. For example, looking at the table tell what is the percentage increase in the population of Delhi from 2002 to 2004. So we have from 2002 to 2004 for the city called Delhi. So first of all we know that the population of Delhi in year 2002 is simply 4,000 while population of Delhi in 2004 
is simply 5,500. So now we will find out the percentage increase by using this formula that is the increase in the value that means the increase in the population over the population in, in year 2002 times with 100. So this simply gives us 37.5% on solving it. So we can say that there was 37.5% increase in the population of Delhi from 2002 to 2004. Now using the data table we can also find out the rate of the growth of population of any city in any given year over the previous year. For example, it says by what percentage the population of Paris in 2005 is more than that of previous year. So the previous year will be year 2004 while the population of Paris in 2005 is 3500 and population of Paris in year 2004 is 3000. So how much more is 3500 than 3000? So simply first of all we will subtract these two. This gives us 500 and then we divide this by the population of Paris in the previous year that's 2004 that is 3000 and times this by 100. And on solving this we simply get our answer equals to 16.66 percent. So we can say that there was 16.66 percent more population of Paris in 2005 as compared to 2004. Now apart from this we can also find out that the city which has the maximum percentage population growth in the given period. For example it says which of the following cities has seen the maximum population growth rate in the given period that is 2002 till 2008. So for this first of all we will study each of these cities like for the Paris from year 2002 to 2008 we will find out the increase in the population. For this we will use the formula that is 8000 minus 2000 divided by the initial population of 2002 that is simply 2000 and then times with 100. Similarly we will do for the Delhi then similarly for the Rome and finally for the London and then for Lahore. So we will find that Paris has the maximum population growth in the given period of 2002 till 2008.